Hey guys, so welcome to today's video. Guys, in today's video, I wanna share with you a few fragrances from my collection that I feel would be perfect for a niche beginner. Someone that's just dipping their toes into the niche world. And who better to talk about niche for beginners than someone who really just started their journey into purchasing and wearing niche fragrances, which is moi, yours truly. I didn't start wearing niche fragrances until 2019. If you're interested in knowing what fragrances I feel would be perfect for a niche beginner, then just continue to watch. Before we get started with the video, please make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Make sure the red button turns gray. Tap the notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads. Thumbs up the video so I know you like my content. And finally, leave me a comment below so we can get to know each other. Now, let's get started with the video. Okay guys, so as I was saying, I am new to the niche world. My first ever niche fragrance was purchased for me by Bay in 2019, and I've never looked back. <laughs> like, I've never looked back since. And the thing is, when you're just getting into niche fragrances, coming from the world of designer fragrances, from your Miss Dior's, from your Aliens, and your Angels, and your Gucci's, and your Hypnotic Poison, and your Prada La Femme, and all the designer fragrances that we know and love, Smelling a niche fragrance can sometimes be either off-putting or just a little bit too much or you're just like, what is this? I don't want to smell like this. There's so, so many niche fragrances out there that for me, it could be 10 years from now and I will never want to smell like some of the fragrances that's out there. Those are like intermediate level. I'm at the beginning level and I don't think I will ever get there. I am, however, loving certain notes like oud. I love certain resinous, woody, spicy, boozy. I'm loving fragrances like that now, guys. So I've compiled a list of fragrances that I feel like are different enough that will garner attention and compliments. Open your nose to the niche fragrance world and also be normal enough and regular enough that you can wear it and feel comfortable. So the first fragrance that we're going to talk about today is Delina La Rose, La Rose. <laughs> now, if you guys are a regular subscriber to this channel or a regular watcher of this channel, you would know that I absolutely love Delina. I love Delina. I love Delina Exclusive. Now, this fragrance, I actually, not this bottle, I purchased La Rose a few months ago from Nordstrom and then returned it. Because in my mind, guys, I had that La Rose was a watered down version of Delina. Now, Delina for me is not a safe purchase for a niche beginner. Delina was actually either my second or third niche fragrance. It was either Delina or Killian's Love Don't Be Shy. Now, when I smelled Love Don't Be Shy, it was love at first sniff. When I smelled Delina, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, it was not love at first sniff. Because like I said, it was my introduction to niche fragrances. So it was a little different for me. I knew that I liked it, but I didn't love it. And I had her sitting for a while. I told you guys, if you remember, I ordered that fragrance from seeing Amrizi, the beautiful beauty queen, beauty blogger, influencer, Amrizi, having Zelina on her Instagram page. So I was like, okay, she has it and likes it, then maybe I like it too. You know what, like, what the hell? Let me just jump out the window and order this fragrance. Ordered it, it came, loved the packaging of the bottle, and I was a little bit taken aback. It was sitting for maybe at least two months I had Zelina sitting, but I would always go and smell it. I, I was always smelling it like, hmm, this is different. Like, it's so different. But guys, the more that I kept smelling it, the more that I kept just having it in my collection and picking up the bottle, I grew to love that fragrance. Cut to 2021, I would never be without Zelina in my collection, like ever. Now back to La Rose. So I was in the mall the other day <laughs> and someone walked past me, a woman walked past me and she was wearing Zelina La Rose. And when I tell you guys, the sillage, the beautiful central that she left up in my nostrils. I had to stop her like, excuse me, what fragrance are you wearing? And she was like, oh, it's the pink bottle. It's Delina, but it's the not the one that came out this year. I was like, the like the is the bottle clear and frosted? She was like, yeah, that one. I was like, really? And then I came home, got on the horn to my people at the fragrance group and asked if I can be sent Delina La Rose. Because guys, the scent that was coming from that woman, and it smelled like Delina, 
but it didn't really smell like Dillian. Like when I smelled her, I just thought she smelled good. I could not figure out what she was wearing. When I got this fragrance and I smelled it and I started to live with it and just wear it every day and play around with it, I realized this is a fragrance for a niche beginner. When I purchased Delina in 2019, if I had purchased this fragrance in 2019, like if this fragrance was around in 2019 and this was the fragrance that Amra had on her Instagram page and I got this, this would have been a wear at first you know, where it first opened. <laughs> I would have been wearing this fragrance as soon as I opened it. I wouldn't have let it sit. This for me at that time, coming off of wearing certain fragrances, I felt like this would have been a better introduction for me to Delina and she wouldn't have been sitting at all. So that is why I have this fragrance on this list because in my opinion, it's a perfect introduction to Delina and also a perfect introduction to wearing niche fragrances. Let me tell you some of the notes. I'm sure you guys heard, but I mean, there's lychee, there's pear, there's bergamot, there's peony, there's watery um, notes, there's floral notes, there's musk, there's some woody notes, there's vetiver. So let me tell you what this fragrance gives me. If you guys drink wine, I feel like the simplest way that I can explain this, because it doesn't smell like a watered down Delina, but you can tell that she was birthed from Delina. This to me is your rosé wine. Think of this as your summertime rosé wine, which is lighter and sweeter and fresher. And Delina would be the wine. You know, Delina is heavier. Delina is a beast. But this is its own fragrance but still a part of Delina. Do you guys understand what I'm saying? So it's not a watered down Delina. Guys, the performance is amazing. I told you, I smelled that woman. I smelled her. A lot of you guys in my comments have told me that you've tried Delina and it just doesn't work for you. You know, that sour rhubarb note or whatever it is in the opening that you guys just can't vibe with. I feel like you would absolutely love this fragrance. Trust me, coming from a person who purchased Delina in 2019 and had Delina sitting for like two months because it was just, I just couldn't get with it. I'm telling you that Delina La Rose is a beautiful fragrance to start with. Now, it's definitely a spring and summer scent. If you wanna wear something fresh all year round, you know, it's up to you, but this is definitely a perfect fragrance for the spring and summer months or even on vacation. Wherever it's hot and warm, this is gonna definitely shine, guys. It's a beautiful one. Delina La Rose. So the next fragrance on the list is by Vil... Uh, guys, I never know how to pronounce this. Wilhelm Parfumery. And this is Poets of Berlin. Guys, this is a newer addition to my collection and I am loving it. But I also feel like this will be perfect for a beginner. Guys, it's so sweet and blueberry. Like, it's blueberry and lemon and woody. Like, that's what I get when I smell this fragrance. And it stays the same from the opening up until the dry down. It's a beautiful, sweet fresh fragrance that in my opinion can be worn all year round all seasons so it opens up with blueberry there's lemon there's bamboo there's orris vanilla sandalwood and vetiver so it's a little green it's woody it's sweet from the blueberry it's lemony and tangy but it doesn't smell too citrusy like i i feel like this can definitely be taken into the fall and winter like early winter early fall you know, nothing where it's like too cold and icy. So I think this is a great addition. Like I said, it's so sweet and blueberry, but it's still fresh at the same time. The performance isn't that great. It's not gonna be super beast mode, but honestly, it's it's not that type of a fragrance. It's not that super heavy, patchouli, oody. It's not that type of fragrance. Like, I mean, there's fruits. I mean, you do have sandalwood in this fragrance, which is gonna give it a little something and you know some of the auras but and there's also vanilla in this fragrance but it's still not a super heavy weighted down thick fragrance but it's so beautiful guys and perfect for a niche beginner poets of berlin the next fragrance on the list is by bdk and this is passe soir guys i've been loving this so much more lately like i mean first of all this was love at first sniff i've had this for about a year now i mean i've all like i've been loving it i absolutely love wearing it as you guys can tell I did decant it though. I took 10 mils out of here, but guys, I wear this all the time. And as of late, I've been wearing this like for the end of the summer, like I've been wearing this almost every single day. Like I can't get enough of this fragrance. And I also feel like it'll be perfect for a beginner niche. This is something that I cannot see anybody not liking. Like, I don't know how you can not like this fragrance. It's so beautiful. So it opens up with pear, like a juicy pear, guys. Then there's black pepper, there's ginger, which gives it a little bit of spiciness. It just, 
<sighs> guys, anything with ginger, like I said, sign me up. Then there's mandarin, there's Moroccan jasmine, there's orange blossom, there's patchouli, and there's amber. It's definitely perfect for a niche beginner because it's not too out the box, but it's definitely exotic and different enough, and you will feel so elevated and put together and sexy. And just like, you know, like you're getting your life together when you're wearing a fragrance like this, guys. It's so beautiful. Another one that you can purchase on SoAvantGarde.com using my 20% discount code, the great 20 And this retails for, I should have looked at the price, um, $190 or $180. Um, it's another one. That, it's definitely not over $200. Guys, it's amazing. Passe Soir by BDK. Next on the list is my Deluxe. Every time I say this, I have to say my Deluxe because she is mine. Like, mine, mine, mine. My Deluxe by Tiziana Terenzi, one of my absolute favorite niche houses. Now, all of the fragrances from Tiziana Terenzi, I would not say are for niche beginners. But definitely, Deluxe is a fragrance for a niche beginner. It's so beautiful. It's so comforting. It's so cozy. It's so super sweet. We have um, some coffee, but it's not a strong coffee, like heavily coffee fragrance. Like Honestly, I do like the smell of coffee. I don't drink coffee. I do like how it smells. But in this fragrance, the coffee note is not prominent. It's not a super loud coffee note at all, because honestly, my nose can't detect it. Yeah, smelling it out of here and even on my skin, like my nose really can't detect it. What I get is a sweet, honey, rosy fragrance with vanilla. Guys, it's so beautiful. This is very reminiscent to Intense Cafe by Montal, but this doesn't smell as sharp. It's more smooth, it's more softer in scent but it's definitely not a soft experience. Whenever I wear this fragrance, I get compliments. Like this is a compliment magnet. It's a compliment beast. It's a beast within itself. It's a beautiful scent. It's kind of versatile. Like I feel like this is definitely a nighttime date scent, but you can wear this in the day. You can wear this at home if it's a snowstorm or you just wanna be comfy under the covers. Um, it's one of those fragrances that just in the fall and winter, it just should be your staple. But this is essentially a summer scent, according to the perfumer. Paolo Terenzi created this fragrance and he drew his inspiration from the Mediterranean and from the sea and being on the water and on a boat. And for me, that says summer, right? Like warm weather. So I guess it's one that you can wear all year round. But for me, I place this in my fall and my winter fragrances. And I absolutely love it. Deluxe by Tiziana Terenzi. So the next fragrance on the list is by Byredo, and this is Rose of No Man's Land. Guys, let me tell you, Byredo is a niche house that can just suit anyone that is going into the niche world. Like if you're just going into the niche world, Byredo is definitely a house that you can feel comfortable shopping from. Not all of the fragrances are, um, you know, beginner niche friendly, but definitely the majority of the fragrances. And one of them is Rose of No Man's Land. This is a beautiful rose fragrance, guys, but it's not that fresh cut. It has a raspberry note in it. So that raspberry now turned that rose into a sweet, jammy, candied-like rose. So if you're someone that doesn't like rose or you're afraid of rose, this isn't that type of rose, honey. Like this fragrance can be fresh as well, but it's a sweet rose. And it's so pretty, it's so pretty guys. So it opens up with red rose, there's pink pepper, there's red rose again, there's raspberry bloom, there's papyrus, and there's amber. Guys, definitely a fragrance that you can wear dipping your toes into the niche world. I don't think that you would be you know, put off by this fragrance. Now, this actually smells similar to a designer fragrance out there. And that's Gucci Bloom Absolute, not Gucci Bloom, um, Gucci Absolute, the fragrance in the burgundy bottle. I own that as well, and I absolutely love it. These two fragrances are very, very similar. Even though they're similar, they're not like identical, but they are similar. I'm just saying if you like how that smells, then you will like how this smells as well. If you don't like how that smells, then stay far away from this <laughs> because it's very, very close. So Rose of No Man's Land by Byredo. Next up, we have this sweet so sweet and creamy fragrance by imaginary authors and this is saint julep guys this is such a beautiful fragrance it's so sweet it's sweet and minty and fresh at the same time imagine a super sweet hard candy with mint a mint hard candy on the outside with sugar sweet on the inside it's so pretty guys so it opens up with sweet mint there's tangerine there's magnolia there's bourbon there's a note that i have no idea even how to pronounce it i think it's 
Grisalva, right? Grisalva, I don't know what that is. And then there's an imaginary note of Sugar Cube. And this retails for, I wanna say 80, no, $90. $90, this retails for $90. Now, let me just let you know that if you've ever smelled Baccarat Rouge by 40, this is similar to it, but this is even sweeter than that. It's sweeter and fresher. It's St. Julep by Imaginary Authors. Hey, yo, Bia, you smelling real good in that Cassiopeia. <laughs> I'm gonna stop, okay? I promise, I'm going to stop. The next fragrance on the list is Cassiopeia by Tiziana Terenzi. Guys, I've said this before. This fragrance, to me, has no DNA of Tiziana Terenzi at all. I'm telling you, like, I definitely do not smell that DNA of Tiziana Terenzi in this fragrance. When I smelled this fragrance, it kind of took me by surprise. Like, okay, this is different. It's a beautiful scent. Not different in that sense, but different in the sense of I own 28 bottles of Tiziana Terenzi and they all smell different, obviously, because they're all different fragrances, but there's still that underlying DNA that I can detect in my Tiziana Terenzi fragrances. This one, to me, just smells like a sweet, fruity fragrance. So it opens up with passion fruit, there's cassis, there's a lemon, there's fern, there's carnation, which I'm not a fan of carnation, but for some reason, it works in this fragrance. Um, there's tea rose, there's lily of the valley, there's tonka, there's musk and sandalwood. Although it has musk in it, it's still not that animalic musk. And trust me, I don't like anything animalic, but it's something about a musk when it's mixed with other notes. It's, it smells amazing in certain fragrances, but you can still, like my nose can still detect that scent of the musk. I cannot smell it in this fragrance, guys. It just smells sweet and fruity. Like, honestly, it doesn't even smell that floral to me. I just love it. It's a beautiful scent, guys. Cassiopeia by Tiziana Terenzi. Next up, we have 100 Silent Ways by Nishane. Guys, this has to be one of the most sexiest floral fragrances I have ever smelled. This is so floral, but it's so sexy. Guys, it opens up with tuberose. <laughs> Then it has peach, there's mandarin orange, there's orange, there's gardenia, there's orris, there's jasmine, there's vanilla, there's sandalwood, and there's vetiver. I've heard, and I also agree slightly, that it does remind you, it's a little reminiscent of uh, Black Opium by YSL. But guys, this is so, like, this is so sexy and so refined. Trust and believe I love my Black Opium, but this is different. It definitely smells similar to it, though. I can't tell a lie. It definitely smells similar, but they don't share the same notes. It's definitely safe for the niche beginner. I can't see someone not liking this. It's not overly done. It's not overly anything, but it still smells unique. And it's so super sexy. Like I said, it's a floral fragrance that I wear when I want to feel sexy and put it on. Although it has so many florals in it. Like it opens up with tuberose. Like it's like floral, floral, floral. You know what I mean? But it's such a beautiful scent. The performance is amazing. And this is an extra. It's an extra day parfum. So you're getting more perfume oil in this fragrance. It's a beautiful fragrance, guys. And another one that you can purchase on SoAvantGarde.com using my 20% discount code, TheGreat20, and save 20% off this fragrance. Nishane, 100 Silent Ways. Last but not least, we have Rouge Smoking by BDK. Guys, this is your vanilla root beer float. It smells so good. Guys, seriously, like I need to get another bottle because I never want to be out of this. Like I like to douse, okay? Douse and go ham when I'm wearing this fragrance. It opens up the cherry. And the, here's the thing. I was 20, 20 years old and I realized that I am obsessed, obsessed with a cherry note. Guys, any fragrance with cherry, please leave it in the comments below and let me know some cherry fragrances because I'm obsessed with that note of cherry. This opens up with cherry. There's pink pepper, there's bergamot, there's vanilla, there's heliotrope, you have orange blossom, there's tonka, there's musk, there's violet, there's ambroxan. Guys, this fragrance is everything. And as a niche beginner, you're going to love, like, absolutely love this fragrance now let me see now if you've ever smelled killian's uh love don't be shy the original now love don't be shy by killian had a baby with hypnotic poison by dior so can you imagine that sweet nutty gourmand decadent just cavity inducing sweet 
BDK Rouge Smoking. Okay guys, so that's it for the video. Now I noticed, now so of my guard is just popping because the majority of the fragrances on the list that we spoke about today, you can purchase from soavantgarde.com and save 20% off. I didn't even realize that and that was not done on purpose, but they're popping and they're getting all the fragrance houses now. So, I mean, it is what it is and you guys can save 20% off on those fragrances. So, but leave it in the comments below and let's talk about niche beginning fragrances. Like fragrances that you wore when you just started your niche journey. Let's talk about it down below because other people read the comments and they can get ideas from you guys as well. Let's just talk about it. So remember guys to stay safe, be great, stay great, and always strive for greatness. AI the Great signing out, but I'll see you in my next video. Peace.